Hey everybody, I thought I'd take a few minutes today and show you a kit that I've been working on recently, been putting together. Uh, this kit is intended to be a day height type kit uh, with the possibility of going overnight, whether by choice or by circumstance. So I just thought I would put this together and show you and maybe give you a few ideas that you could use for your own kit. I hope it can be helpful to somebody. Um, I'm a big believer in the fact that you should put together your own kits rather than a store-bought type kit. Um, you need to know what's in your kit. You need to know how to use your kit. And the biggest thing is a kit that works for me may not be a kit that works for you. So you need to put together your own kit so that you know what's in it, you know how to use it, and it's built for your circumstances. So anyway, this is a kit that I put together. Uh, again, I intend to take this on day hikes, um, trips out, you know, no more than a little over 24 hours. Uh, there is stuff that you could get by a little longer than that on, but you wouldn't want to stretch it more than a day or two at the absolute most with a kit like this. Otherwise, you're going to need some more resources available to you to use. Uh, this is the... Condor Molly Tactical H2O pouch in digital camo and this is a Molly compatible water bottle container as you can see it has a front pocket on it here and it also has Molly straps uh, going all the way around I have attached an M4 mag pouch on this side here and over here a hundred round saw utility pouch and we'll get to look through the contents of all these here briefly I've also added a shoulder strap that I made out of paracord uh, in a digicam pattern using some foliage green and desert sand paracord so let's take this kit open it up see what's in it and let's talk about it Uh, first on this side pocket over here, this is the saw 100 round utility pouch and in here I've only got a couple of things, but just wanted to show you real quick This is I got this from Walmart. This is an outdoor products uh, 5x7 ultralight backpacking tarp that they have. This is a great little tarp. It only costs $10 at Walmart. Um, comes with this mesh pouch and it comes in blue. It's got grommets on it. It's an ultra light sill nylon material. And in here I've also got a 25 foot hank of paracord and some tent stakes. And so if I am caught out overnight, you know, I can set up a tarp shelter pretty quick and easy with this and it'll keep me dry and I can also use it as a shade type shelter so it's just a great little buy I found at Walmart in their camping section um, again it's outdoor products which is Walmart's camping type brand and uh, I recommend you really go check these out these are great little tarps for the money also in here I have a small little first aid kit uh, this is just a store bought first aid kit this was a dollar in the travel section at Walmart and I've added a few things to the kit um, you know no, nothing much I've added some neosporin and you know just some quick little meds this is not a major trauma kit this is more just a boo-boo type kit um, there's some moleskin in here some band-aids that sort of thing so anyway I've got this little kit and that's all that I actually have for now in this saw pouch I, I do have room to put more stuff and I probably will uh, as I keep evolving this kit but for now that's all that's contained within this side in the main top compartment I have a 32 ounce Gout Designs Backpacker stainless steel water mug um, this is a wide mouth mug this is a great mug and it, if you notice on the backpacker model, 
this bottom is tapered um, and that is an important design in the way I've got this kit set up uh, you'll see in a second why this actually fits inside of the next item in here which is the Stanley Adventure Camp Cook Set and you do have to work just a little bit to get this out of here it is, it is a bit of a snug fit but not too bad uh, this is a great little kit I've actually kind of had to alter this a little bit to make it work for this setup um, there is a lid which you will see in a minute which is at the bottom of this bag and I also have to remove the handle to fit it in here uh, but the handle is easily taken off or put back on for use and this kit actually came with a couple of green plastic cups um, that I had to remove. I already have another cup in here which you'll see in a second and they just really didn't work for this setup but overall I really like this uh, this holds I believe 24 ounces it's got markings on the way up on the side here going up to 20 ounces got 8 12 16 and 20 I don't know if you can see that hopefully you can but uh, this is a great cook set. It's stainless steel, can go right on the fire, which is nice. And the Guy Up Designs backpacker fits right in here. Uh, as you can see, this has a tapered bottom as well. And that just fits in there super nice, almost like it was meant for it. So I've been using that as a, as a setup. Um, inside the lid here, the Guy Up Designs backpacker, I have a couple more things. I have a cotton bandana in here, um, which can be used to filter out, you know, big particles in water if you've got dirt or debris. Um, also, just as a, a, a pot handle to uh, grab things that are hot, I can also tie it around my head, you know, use it as a regular bandana. The thousands of uses that a bandana has. Inside here, I have two items. I have the handle for the Stanley cook set, uh, and that just clips right here on the side. I keep a little tape on there just to keep that from scratching the inside of the bag, but that just pinches together, slips right down on there, gives you a handle. And I also have this fish mouth spreader, which I got from Bass Pro Shops. But this, when you open this, makes a perfect pot handle if you wanted to hold the bottle over the fire uh, run some paracord through there and it just works really great I actually got this idea from Dave Canterbury's website and uh, it just works really well so I've got one of these and I've got it in here it doesn't weigh hardly anything so it's easy just to keep in there and I've got it when I need it if I need it if I don't it's not really in the way or causing any excess weight so I have that set up Lastly, in the bottom here, there is a GSI Glacier mug. It is also a stainless steel mug. And it has butterfly handles. So that gives me a, a drinking cup and the Stanley cook set with the tapered edges fits down perfectly nest in there and then the guy who designs bottle nests right in there the whole setup just is almost built like it was made to go together so I have those items in here I also have a small soda can penny stove um, the Urban Prepper has done a great video on how to make these. I'm going to put a link to that video by the Urban Prepper down below and you'll be able to see that and go there and, and watch how he made one and how long it took him. It really doesn't take long to make these. I actually watched his video and decided to make one. I've actually made several since then. Um, and they're just great little stoves that run on alcohol. They're lightweight. 
Um, it, they're basically free. I mean, you, you use cans that you either already have or you can find cans in the trash can at most any business or school or anything like that. So uh, they're just great little stoves. I've taken some hardware cloth and fashioned it into a pot stand. Um, just to give you a little space between your flame and what you're cooking on and the stuff sits right on top of there uh, holds up great and I also have a sheet about four feet long of heavy-duty aluminum foil that I've just folded up kind of molded into the shape of the cup so that all fits together in there nicely stays together and again everything stacks right up on top of that uh, just perfectly and goes together so that's the cook set that's the main compartment of this whole kit lastly in the bottom is the lid for the Stanley cook set um, it has a has a vented lid that helps with boiling pouring that straining that sort of thing and it just sits nicely on there and it also fits on the GSI glacier mug, which is nice. So that goes in the bottom of the kit uh, just to save some room. And that is all of the contents inside the main compartment of the water bottle kit. In this front pouch here, I keep a few things. I have a small bottle of heat uh, that's H-E-E-T, heat. It's a denatured alcohol, and it burns really hot really fast. You can find it in the automotive section, pretty much anywhere you can go, like Walmart or like an AutoZone, Pep Boys, that sort of thing. Um, I just keep a small bottle of this. This actually lights the soda can stove. Squirt a little bit in there. Place your penny on, light it, and you'll have a nice blue hot flame in just a couple of minutes. Also in here in another little sack, I have a wet fire tender tab, a mini Bic lighter, and a box of strike on the box matches. Uh, I would prefer strike anywhere matches, but those are getting harder and harder to find. Pretty much everywhere you go now, everything is strike on the box. I have a small bag here that's got uh, some electrolyte powder, some crystal light Gatorade, that sort of thing, some instant soups, um, a couple of meals like that, some tea, some instant teas, condiment sugar, salt, pepper, that sort of thing. This is just enough to give me a meal or two and something to drink if I'm out. Again, this kit isn't meant to keep you alive longer than say 24 to 48 hours at the most. Uh, this is more of a day, day hike type of thing. But I have a few little things so that I can cook out on the trail, uh, which is nice to be able to do. I have an X gear folding utensil set. This has knife, fork, spoon. They're all stainless steel. Uh, I actually got this as a gift and it's a nice little set so I keep it in here. Uh, I have some actual real silverware. I could cut weight and put uh, plastic silverware or even a titanium like spork, uh, that sort of thing. But I, you know that, that stuff costs money. I have this. This works for this kit just fine. Also have a small multi-tool in here. Just gives me basically pliers and a few small tools, uh, screwdrivers, that sort of thing. These are nothing heavy duty, but I'm not really intending on doing heavy duty work with tools while I'm out doing a day hike. This just gives me a little functionality to use something in case the need arises. Over here on this other side, oh, by the way, that is all for the front pouch. Over here on this other side, on this M4 pouch, magazine pouch, I have a Gerber folder, uh, just an extra folder I had laying around. So I've got that in here. Uh, 
I can keep this dedicated with this kit. This will work pretty good in a pinch. Uh, I usually have a straight edge, a straight blade knife on me, so this is just a small folding blade. And lastly, in this pocket, I keep a small Altoid style personal survival kit tin. Uh, that a man named Tom Spearman made for me and super nice guy he's an Air Force veteran and he actually puts these kits together and gives them away to family and friends and he calls this his KYAA kit and this thing is just packed full of stuff he was super nice to put this together for me uh, as you can see there is electrical tape here in the blaze orange it gives you a way to tape something up. Uh, the kit itself is, is a high polished aluminum. So you can use this actually as a signaling device. You can take these two uh, cards off. On one side he's got uh, a contents card of what's in the kit. On the other side he has some general survival tips, instructions, uh, mainly, you know, stay calm, uh, remove yourself from any sort of threat, take stock of your situation, the inventory, your assets, etc. But this thing is just full of stuff. He's got on the inside lid, there's some reflective tape that can also be used for signaling. It's got alcohol wipes, band-aids, water purification tablets, anti-diarrhea tablets, a couple of non-lubricated condoms which can be containers for water carry. Uh, he's got a book of matches in there. He's also got strike anywhere matches which as I said are getting harder and harder to find. Uh, a small candle like a birthday candle type candle in there. A uh, fire steel. He's got some fire starting tinder in here. He's got some petroleum jelly soaked cotton balls that kind of keep the contents from rattling around. So they're kind of just shoved into every little empty pocket that's in here. There's an MRE hot beverage bag in here, which is also another container. Uh, there's a bendable straw. There's a small, like a button style flashlight in there. There's a, also a small folding knife in there. A button compass. He's got safety pins. 20 feet of 110 pound bank line cordage. There's a small pre-made fishing lure and line that he's got in here that he's actually made out of wine bottle corks. And he also has a small pre-made bobber hook and line that's also made out of the uh, wine bottle cork. So this is just a super kit and he was nice enough to send one to me. Uh, let me try it out and just tell him how I liked it, you know, what I, what I was able to use it for. And I just really appreciate that. And again, as I said, he's an Air Force veteran, so love the military. Uh, those guys are awesome. Anybody that's had the pleasure of serving, I have not, but I, I greatly admire anybody that serves our country. So uh, I just really thank him for that. Again, his name is Tom Spearman. And that's pretty much it for this kit. I will try to post another video here soon of some other things that I've done, but I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that it gave you some ideas of maybe something to do for yourself um, in putting together a kit of your own. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below and I'll be happy to answer anything. Um, I don't really enjoy negative comments. I don't think anybody does, but if you have one, I, I'm a big boy, so you know, give it to me and I'll, I'll, I'll take it under advisement. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you again soon. Thanks.